Oh, you just found your new crush. You managed to turn them into your partner too. Wow. Eventually. That didn't last long. No worries, just like how your home is Gochi covered through these stages, your senpai will give you the best combos for all these situations and be the ultimate Sigma male or Sigma female. Hi guys, Gazuki here and in this video we will see 20 TikTok combo wombos who are just a treat to the eyes. So let's start our journey assuming you are single. Our Gushan veins, here's another trick to add to your books. The double dash combo. To do this, you need to keep two major things in mind. One is fast fingers and other practice. First, use your first skill to mark the target where you want to dash first. While the first skill is in the air, use the ultimate near the target and tap to skill 1 to send another dagger marking them. And then tap skill 1 to come to the main target and surprise them with your sudden double dash. Not only does this combo look cool, it will also make your crush say, Ooh. Kagura means if you can't do this, then you have zero hopes. The flicker pull combo. For this, timing is the key. Just like a wise person says, everything has a perfect time. Use your first skill to send your umbrella to where you want to hook the enemy and press your ultimate. You will have around 1.5 seconds to use your second in the first phase and flicker to go near the enemy and wait for the perfect timing to use the skill 2 to go back to your umbrella. And you can hook multiple enemies to your desired location. And make your Hayas forget about Hanabi. Well, if you are higher main and don't do this, forget Hanabi, even Palman won't be impressed. The 4 shadow style kill combo. Time to upgrade your boring combo by using your skill tool, mark the target with your shadow. Use a skill 1 and while your shurikens are in the air, travel in between these shadows, go to the marked enemy, Use this skill 1, then ultimate and come back like a boss. Just regular ninja things. Doing this combo shows that as a higher player, you have mastered the use of your shadows and are ready to sway away anyone, your teammates as well as your enemies. Just like this, the evergreen combo of Link. The freestyle blade dance combo. Do you know what defines you to become a Link Pro? The ability to pull this off. It might be simple but requires perfect precision and aiming of skills. Hop over the walls like a bird and use a skill 2 on your enemy followed by your ultimate. Aim your second skill just slightly adjacent to your sword summon location indicator. Then do the typical 4 blade dance with your precisely aimed second skills. And only when you can manage to use 4 blades, you can proceed to use your skill 1 followed by a basic attack. Pull this off and see every Angela man ready to ultimate on you anytime you want. But every time a freestyle chow kills your crush and because on their dead bodies. Use this surprise surprise combo of Paquito. Combine your skill 2 and flicker and come to your crush's revenge with a big damage blink, punching them with your jab out of existence. To do this, you just need to have enough practice as it's easy to do. Use your enhanced skill 2 and while the jab is in animation, flicker to the enemy and hit them with a very strong jab on their face. A very handy combo in the game which makes sure no one dares to recall in low HP in front of you. But Benedita says, hold my beer. Everyone knows by now the ultimate plus Petri combo for Benedita. But here she comes swigging with her flicker combo. This combo does not seem that useful like the Petri combo. But it sure helps us surprise enemies running back in low HP. Just hold the basic attack and when you release it, combine it with flicker to close in distance and use the first skill to finish them off 
and the second skill to come out like nothing ever happened. But our Lord sure wants everyone to know he can take enemies to the other side too Legendary. with this simple flicker trick. As we know our Lord's ultimate can displace multiple enemies but only in an arc in one direction. But using flicker and flickering back to the enemies, you can change the position to the opposite side too. Leaving the enemy confused and dragging them to the side they don't expect. Leaving them stunned and unleashing your zing zing. Now you use all these tricks to impress your crush and finally manage to get that partner tag. Here are some broken combos for you and your partner to turn the tides of the battle in style. The circling death combo. Courtesy of Matilda Airlines and Kadita's underwater navigation mastery, Matilda needs to use her ultimate after using her skill to locking on the enemy. Kadita will use Matilda's special blink ability to follow up and close in the distance. Time to knock up from Matilda's ultimate and use your petrify and use ultimate and give instant death to the enemy no matter how far they try to go. Use this combo in your matches and make everyone regret who even tries to badmouth you. Next is the Flying Swan combo. Again sponsored by Matilda Airlines. Still using the old Johnson audit combo? Don't be a bore. Make our dancing swan fly while performing in style. As Odid, use your skill 1 and skill 2 to collect your passive stakes and when Matilda is in the air, use your ultimate and Matilda's special ability as easy as that. And here you have dancing flying Odid in the middle of the battlefield. Try this along with your duo partner and I tell you, you won't be able to return to the old ways. Next is the double trouble combo. Featuring Galactic Mommy E and Lady Powerhouse Ixia. Both of their ultimates are like match made in heaven, with the ability to control the situations of a team fight with their heavy artillery in the form of galactic attacks and rockets. The slow and magic damage from E's astral projection and Ixia's rocket damage and CC skills can dish out some serious damage to multiple enemies, making them an utter powerhouse. But if you believe in annoying the hell out of your enemies, then use this combo. Why are you running combo? Possible with the help of Diggy and Nana. Their skill sets completely fit with each other. How? Huh? If your Nana keeps wasting her Molinas, then just use Diggy's second skill to make sure the enemy will be pulled back to a certain location, making it easier to land Molina or she just keeps getting out of position, then just pop your ultimate and keep her in gentle care, making her feel cared for. Aww. Next is the two are enough combo. Daddy Tigrel when combined with Kadita, uh, they don't need anyone else to complete wipe enemies of the map. A perfect 5 man setup plus Petri, second and ultimate combo of Kadita. Tell me who can survive this if there is no annoying fairy teller in the team. While Daddy being the boss, he is for setting up, pulling enemies in his ultimate like it's a field day and mermaid. Ready to burst the hell out of them with second ultimate, petri ultimate or even second petri and ultimate combo. Not giving the enemies any chance or window to escape. And to be honest, these two are just enough. Moving on the plate, we have the Queen's AoE combo. Yes, you heard that right. Our Necro Queen Vexana and Queen of Heart of Sicilian Carmilla combined these queens can do some insane CC plus damage, turning any type of team fight easily. Carmilla will use her skill 2 and close up on the enemy and use her ultimate and use her skill 2 in the second phase to stun them all. It's okay if Carmilla can't cast her skill 2 phase 2 because what follows up is Vexana. Skill 1, ultimate and second skill combo, not only they will be crowd control altogether for about 3 seconds but will end up taking so much damage 
that the enemy's only option will be to run from the queens. And the last combo I would like to suggest for lovey doveys is a mage mend in heaven combo. Yup, I said that. Franco and Noveria are just a match made in heaven, so I couldn't resist the temptation to the name so. What? Both of them just complement each other very well. Both of them have a great movement speed and can rotate around very fast. But what's best is if your Franco keeps missing those crucial hooks by using Noveria's ultimate and not only does it increase his chance of hooking the enemies. Franco's ultimate makes sure that Nova can make the guaranteed hit of her Astral Meteors, making them the best pair in terms of suitability. Apart from Franco and Selena combo, which again requires a skill to pull off, but is one of the best paired combos ever to exist in the game. You must be thinking why didn't I include combos like Johnson Ordered, Johnson Kadita because they are just too basic. You almost reached that partner score of 10,000 by playing together continuously day in and out. But then one day you see this. A notification that your partner wants to end the affinity. Confused to you, open their profile and you see another guy with those 800 plus skins in his account. Heartbroken, you are almost on the verge of quitting him. But wait, stop there. Don't you dare to give up. Yes, you. Just look at this. Even after this, I'm not quitting nope. on ML. So cheer up my guy and use these combos with your homies to vent all your sorrow and anger in the game. Starting with the target lock combo. Featuring Johnny Boy, Matilda Airline and our buff lover, Hellcut. Mark your target and Matilda will enter the car with her skill 2 active. Hellcut will tap on the active skill from Matilda's skill 2 and rush at full speed. Meanwhile, Hellcut will use his ultimate to make darkness prevail. And crash them with the car followed by Cockroach's huge stinger damage. And if they still have survived, chase them down with Matilda Airlines. It's a really fun combo to do in classic matches to just chill and enjoy the game. Just like our Hello Hello combo. Courtesy of Daddy Tigrell, Alpha Male and Global Teleporter Luo Yi. Use Luo Yi's ultimate and teleport with Tigrell behind the enemy in a bush, not revealing your location. Now Tigrell uses Conceal and you run behind the enemy along with him. Alpha uses his ultimate from the front, while Tigrell comes from the back and uses his ultimate and as Luo Yi you have a field day to do your yin yang combos on group dub. Stun enemies again, pulling them back towards the center. Giving tight hard slaps to your enemies from both front and back. The next combo on our list is the slow hell combo. Featuring Valir, Xbox, and Hylos. Both our fire users Valir and Xbox, when equipped with the Ice Queen wand, can be extremely irritating with the continuous damage and slow. Fire users getting strong with ice items just moontoon things. <laughs> but when these two are combined with Hylos and his skill too, slow the slows are just too much to deal with. Once in your range, nobody will be able to escape your insane slow and continuous damage or else all of them have chasing capabilities too. So try this out and tell me your experience in the comment section. Another combo from which there is no escape. You can't escape this bro combo. Possible due to Balric, Terizla and Julian. Imagine a gorgeous flicker ultimate by Terizla followed by Balric's skill 1 and ultimate taunt and Julian's versatile combos depending on the situation combined and trying to escape that. I don't know how this combo is not popular yet. Spam in those trial matches and make every enemy live in fear of you, Giga Chad. 
Next, we have the how much CC combo. All thanks to the star of the show, our angry bull, Giniver, and our cute little Leonin. If these three have their combos perfectly executed with each other, not only is it a treat to the specter's eye, but it surely makes the enemies say, how much CC bro I can't move. The best results of this combo can be seen when Nana can move multiple enemies followed by Minol's skill 1 and ultimate combo and Giniver's skill 2 and ultimate combo. It can make even a calm guy like me throw my phone away in frustration if I get hit by it. And at last we have the Buster's King combo. Featuring our barber, Mermaid and Mr. John Cena. As usual, Mr. Cena doing his things and surprising enemies with his WWE moves. Followed by Gushen and Kadita's insane burst damage from their skill combos. I don't think even tanks have a chance to survive this much amount of burst if caught up in our burst is king combo. I know I have missed many combos, but covering them all will depend on you guys. If we hit the goal of 7k likes on this video, we will cover even more OP combos for you to enjoy the game even more. So are you ready for all the stages in your gaming life with these combos? Which combos have you tried out from them? Share your thoughts in the comment section. That will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.